Hey guys, it's Jackhammer528 here, and I'm showing you how to make a two-cylinder blower motor on here. So, first thing you do is you get two of these pieces, four of these green connector pieces, and then two of these um, red 90-degree ones. So what you do is you put two of these, or put both of these on like that, and then you take your other one, and then you put it like so, and then you take your red pieces and connect them like that, and then you connect the other side like so, and then you take a white piece and connect them like that, and you will have to make four of them, which I already made four ahead of time, and then what you do is, um, get one of these yellow pieces, put these aside, and then you take one of these yellow pieces, and then you put a connector on this side, and then you take one of these blue pieces and connect it like that, and put a gray piece, or gray spacer, and then you take a blue, or purple, or orange, you have gray, you take one of these pieces and put it on there. And you take another spacer, put it like that. Then you take another one of these two pieces, connect it the same way as like that one. And then you take another blue piece and put it like that. And then you take two space, two of these gray spacers, and then you put them on that so it doesn't hit it when it's moving around it. And then you set that one aside. You also have to make two of these, but I'm going to show you the other one. So this is the first one you have to make. And then you take another blue piece. And take one of these pieces, put it together. It's kind of like the same th You do the same thing as this, but instead of this yellow piece, you have a blue one. And you'll want, and then you'll figure, find out why you will need that blue one on that one next time, or when you get at the end of the video. So you take another gray piece, and then another purple thing, another gray um, one, and then you connect it the same way, and put a blue piece, and it should look like that. So you set those aside, and then for to make the cylinder, you will need four of these white pieces, which I have all four of those right there, and then you take two of these blue pieces, and then you place it on there like so, but this is my method of putting them on there a lot easier, because the other way is more difficult, so what you do is you like get all four of these right next to each other like that, and my way is putting it on there and then squeezing them like that, and it should, it usually um, goes together easily, but this one's being a little difficult right now. And then connect these, put them all the way at the end, you take another one, you slide it in, and then it should look like that, and then you just squeeze these together and it should snap right in. Ugh, this last one's usually always the most difficult, but I'd rather have one than have them all. And then it should snap in like that. And then that's what your cylinder should look like. And then you should make a second one, which I already made ahead of time. And then you also need two more gray pieces. And then what you do is you put t these white pieces right on the top um, one on there like so, so it should look like that, and you do it to the same on the other side, so it should look like that, and then you, you can either have a gray spacer, but I like to have the three little blue spacers, and put them on the top, I, I don't know, it's just me that it looks kind of cooler, but you can do the gray spacer if you want, 
then you put them on both sides of that, and then you do the same on the other side, on the other one. And then like that, put it on the other side. And then that's what that should look like when you're done. Okay, so what you do is you put gray spacer on the bottom of that, of this one, and put it on the bottom of this one. And it should look like that. And then you place that in there like so. And then you take a blue little piece like that and stick it on there like that. And then you place it in this center hole here. And then you should stick it right through there and it should work like so. But this one, there we go. And it should go like an actual cylinder does. And then you place the other side on it like that. And then you take four of these yellow pieces and place them right there and there, so like that. And then you put, put them on all four of these sides. And then it should look like that. Then you place it on the bottom ones too. And there's one cylinder done. Sometimes these get stuck and it should spin freely. If not, you pull these these two edges apart and it should spin freely again. And then now we work on our other side of one. And then you place, it's the same thing, you place it in there. And then you connect the other blue one like that. And then you place it in the center hole on the that one. You place it like that. And it should spin like so. And then you take your other one and put it like that. And then you do the same thing as you did on the other sides. Or the other one. You place them on all corners of them. Or like so. And then you do that one. If you stay tuned and subscribe, you will. I might make an, another ver like a version of this, but it's a mini one, which or it's the standard, those smaller pieces. But that'll be in the next video. So then you pull them apart again, and it works just like so. And then you have your two motors or your two cylinders, like that. And then what you do is you. Um, take two of these red pieces you place them on the top of this so it should look like that oh, it should look like that and then you take your other side and put it on there or I'll put it on the other side like that and then you connect or no whoops my bad it's supposed to be on the bottom one Sorry about that. And it should look like that. And then you connect those two. And then those, that would be your motor. But you gotta figure out how to get both of these to spin at the same time. Because if you spin this one, it'll turn. And if you spin this one, it'll turn. But you need to figure out how to get them both. So I figured out how to do it. It's putting it on, you can either put it on the front or the back. I put mine on the back, but you can put it on this side, you can put it on the front of this, or put it on this side. I put it on this side. I don't know why, but it doesn't matter. So you place one of the spacers right there, and you place it on the other side, on the yellow piece. And then you take this, you take that and put it on that, and you take this, you put it on that side. And then you take this little weird piece that helps it turn, and then you put it on there, like so. And then you should be able to connect it, like that. And it should spin. Once you get it on there, it should spin. 
And then you get the other piece, like, you get another one of these pieces. This one's more difficult to put on, but it's very, wor it's worth it when you're done. Oh, oh no. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this piece and so it's easier to put it on. So you take it off and then you click it on and it should be like that. And then you put it through, you put the spacer in again, and then you click it back in place. And it should click in and then you spread that apart and it should click in but these don't touch yet which is what I'm going to be showing you next so what you do is you take four green pieces four of these little green things and then you connect them on all the sides like so and then click that and then you take this other piece, so it should have like all four sides. So then you take um, spacers, so it should be about six, I think. One, two, three, four, maybe five, I think. And then you take two of these blue spacers, so it should look like that. I think it's five. Yep, looks like it should be five, and then it should look like that. You put a rubber band. I'd prefer two of them, so it works better, but if you have a good rubber band, it'll work pretty good. And then you connect these. Oh, maybe it's four. So take only four, and then two blue spacers. It should work. And connect them together so it should look like that connects it and then do the same on the other side so you're going to need four of the gray spacers and then you put them on all there and then you take two blue spacers on one on each side Oop. one on each side so it's like that and then you take these, put it in between these rubber bands, and then you stretch it across. And then you connect it, and these should be connected together. But if you, so, what you do to set this up is you have one. You kind of push these gears apart, and you have one as far as you can on the bottom, and then one far extended, so it looks like that. On there, one, this side's very extended, and this side's all the way in, and if you turn it, it spins like a normal gear, or normal motor would. Except I need to move these rubber bands down to the middle, so they spin. If I put it like that, it'll spin like that, like it should, like on a real motor. And then you, if you spin it, keep spinning, it'll look like that so then that's what that would look like and then you take another yellow for the blower you're going to need to take this piece and then put it like right on the middle of this little red connector that we put on earlier and then it should connect like that and it should still work oh this piece came off and then it should spin freely. So then you put the motor aside. And then we're going to work on making the blower. So you take this little piece. It kind of looks a little weird. But it looks like that. And then you take a 4x4 four four block. And then you take another one. So it looks like that. And then you take another. Well, you put them down one more. My bad. Sorry. You put them like that, and then you take a one by one buys. I didn't really have enough pieces, so it should look like that. Should be a three by six. 
And then you take these weird looking pieces here and you put them like so. I didn't have any more black ones, so it didn't look doesn't really look cool anymore. But that's what happens in it. And then it should look like this. And then you take and then you put another layer on, so like that. Oh, my bad. So you put it like that. And then you take this. And then take this piece. And then place it in the middle. And then you take another one. So it looks like that. It looks like a T cross. And then you take two more of those these little green things or whatever. And then you put them up one more. I think. Yep, you put them up one more. Wait, no. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So you put them up one more like so. And then you take the other one and put it like so. And then you take a four or one by four and put it like that. And then you take this one by four slant piece, place it on top like that. And then you take that piece and then another well, I kind of ran out of pieces, so I'm going to try to find a 2x4 um, block. I couldn't really find a... This is the closest one I found, so you take a 2x4, and you place it right on the middle like so. And then that's what the, the blower should look like. And then, so what you do is you take this like little yellow connector piece, and click it in the second one in and then you do the same on the other side should be the second one in so it looks like that and you take these orange connector pieces place it on like so and you do the other side and then that's your blower so you place it on the front so which had the two shorter sides be clicked so it clicks on like so and then for the last step, you take these pieces and you it doesn't matter if these are these, you can have them those little other pieces. But if you put it all the way across like that, and then you take the other piece like that, and then you pull it all across, it'll keep it from um sliding in when you don't want it to. So then it should spin freely, and then that's what your motor looks like. If you want to see that mini one, um, I will be doing it um, in, a, in my next video. So this is what the lower motor looks like. I hope you enjoyed um, watching this video and making it. I hope please to like and subscribe, and I will show you that new video next time. See you guys.